Welcome to FM Live. My name is Mike Ussery, and today we have a special guest here. We have Michaela. Michaela Darnell is our, well, one of our shipping department associates. Uh, so this is actually kind of a rare treat for most of the internet because normally we keep them off in the dark corners of the shop and they don't really get to see much of the light of the Miata world, or at least not on TV. So today we are doing a special because Michaela has a new Miata. <laughs> so first of all, um, thank you very much for chiming in and for uh, jumping into this video to see what it is. But also I'd like to remind you that if you have any questions about Michaela's new Miata along the way, if we don't answer them, feel free to drop those into the comments below and we will try to get to them throughout the live as well as long as we have time. So without further ado, Michaela, welcome. Glad to have you on the show. Hi. <laughs> so, um, for all of the kind people out there that don't know who you are, let's start off by, who are you? What do you do here? I kind of give you a brief introduction, but why don't you give us a little bit more detail? Hi, I'm Michaela. I've worked here for a little over two years now, and I work in the shipping department. I have been here the second longest, and I make sure you get all of your parts. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, Everything that she packages is very well done. Um, I get lots of compliments on how well stuff arrives at our customers' houses. So uh, that is in due, due part. That is thanks to Michaela. <laughs> My vocabulary is struggling today. Sorry. Um, as well as the rest of the shipping team, of course. But the rest of the shipping team doesn't have a Miata that's new. So... <laughs> What uh, what made you get a Miata? Because actually, I think at the moment, you're the only shipping department personnel that has a Miata. So where did this decision come from? Well, um, I was actually in a car accident um, about a month ago, and I'd been wanting a Miata anyways, so I was like, you know what? There's no time like the present. So I bothered Mike as much as possible about helping me find a Miata, and here we are now. We went and picked it up like a week and a half ago. So, very fresh, new experience. Well, you've driven some Miatas before, so this isn't that new, <laughs> but what do you think about having a Miata so far? I love it. Uh, I drive it with the top down as often as possible. Sadly, it's almost winter here in Colorado, so uh, the top down will no longer be an option unless I want to freeze to death on the way to work every day, but... Um, so far, it's been amazing. I drove it to Denver this weekend, and it was super rad, so. <laughs> and survived the snow that was happening on the pass, I, did. I might add. <laughs> That's a thing in Colorado. You never know. You go over the mountains, maybe there's ice and snow. You don't know, because um, you go through one side of the tunnel, and it's nice and sunny, and the other side, uh, you might be sliding off the road. <laughs> it happens, you know. Yeah. So, we've probably delayed long enough. Should we reveal... Your new Miata. Yeah. Okay, well, do your best, Vanna White. My new car. Woo! <laughs> nice. So, of course, um, because it's my favorite Miata, we're going to have to do this properly. Yeah. <laughs> so, Michaela, um, why don't you give a brief rundown of what this is? This is the SS Schrute, my 2011 NC power retractable hardtop. Uh, she came with some fancy club wheels, and uh, yeah, she's new to me. She had 74,000 miles on her when I got her, and Mike and I went back and forth through Facebook ads and Auto Trader forever to find a power retractable hardtop, and this is the one I ended up with. Because best Miata, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> so, um, one of the more popular questions that I think some people kind of guessed preemptively going into this, uh, one of the popular ones was, are you joining the Yacht Club? Because... I am most definitely joining the Yacht Club. The Yacht Club was a big deal to me when Mike got his NC, and so I was like, oh, duh, have to join the Yacht Club as soon as I get an NC. So we added the uh, Yacht Club sticker on the back today, and uh, 
I'm pretty excited to be part of the Yacht Club. I'll probably end up with a cool hat like Mike's at some point. So when we go on drives, I can uh, show off like Mike. <laughs> You're making me sound a little egotistical. Nah. <laughs> My guys in the background are nodding. <laughs> <laughs> Well, congratulations, by the way. Um, I'm very proud. I obviously uh, like having more yachts in the fleet, as it were. So I think it's a good thing all around for FM and for you, because I think the timing kind of worked out perfectly, really, given that uh, you needed a car and you kind of work at a Miata performance shop. So it really only made sense. Yes. Yeah. So uh, is this your first Miata? It is my very first Miata. It's not the first Miata I've driven, though. I have got to drive the shop, car shop cars, luckily, which has been super helpful. And I always dogged on the NCs, not going to lie. But then I drove Nancy a month and a half ago and was like, all right, I have to get an NC. Like, there's no, there's nothing better. <laughs> That's all right. I am forgiving. <laughs> I can accept that. Now you've seen the light. Everything is all better. Yes, yes. yes. <laughs> So, um, obviously, you've mentioned that you like the NC, but why this specific one? Why this trim? Why these options? I did not really like the way the soft tops looked. I don't like the way that they go back. I don't want to have to push it back myself. Pushing a button is so much easier. So, I was like, we have to find a hard top. Plus, I have a kid who rides in the car with me, and his little grimy fingers on a soft top sounded gross. At least the hard top seems easier to clean. So I was like, we have to get a hard top. Um, and I had to have a black car. Uh, it was a requirement. <laughs> yeah, I'm a big fan. I think that uh, actually in all black like this, it's really sleek. Yeah. Um, I'm not usually a fan of all black vehicles just because, I don't know, I like a little bit of color, a little touch of flair, pizzazz. But actually... In all black like this, and especially with the, the club wheels, it's pretty sleek. So I don't know if you'll convert me to liking black cars, but I, I like it. I I'll think yours is best. pretty cool. Okay. <laughs> so um, you kind of mentioned it actually already. One of the other questions we got beforehand was, how did you find or research this car? You know, what steps did you go through that you were looking for a car to begin with? Because um, for a lot of our watchers or viewers um grand valley is not really the best place to buy miatas most of the miatas that are here in the grand valley are here <laughs> so um you said you had to go to denver what process did you have to go through in order to find this car and then decide that it was the one well I messaged multiple people on Facebook. They would either not get back to me or they had already sold the car and forgot to take down the listing. Um, and then I dealt with one very pushy, annoying uh, sales place in Denver. So I was just like, I can't handle this. And then this car magically showed up on Auto Trader and I was just like, this is the one. We got to go to Denver, Mike. So I got FM's approval and I got Mike in the car and we drove to Denver and we. Signed on it that day. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I drove it in town just to make sure it was all good to go, and then, well, Drive long trip this. back, yeah. <laughs> Four and a half hours back to Grand Junction. A little bit of a downside to not living close to a big city, but you know what, it's worth it for every now and then, so it works. And, of course, because we work at an aftermarket performance shop, we want to know about the mods, so... This car, you know, on the outside, looks pretty stock. Did this car have any modifications when you bought it? Uh, the only real modifications it has currently were the club wheels, which did not come stock on this model. But um, I'm going to be upgrading it as soon as possible. I already bought Fox suspension for it, like, two days after I bought it, because, you know, I work here. Um, we haven't got a chance to install them yet. I already changed the door bushings to FM door bushings. As soon as the roof controller comes back in stock, that's going in. And as soon as Mike and I have a chance, we're going to install an aftermarket uh, radio. Yeah, I was thinking, what's that in the center console there? Oh, yes. And the Craven Speed uh, shift knob was something that I definitely had to have. The shift knob that came with this car was 
garbage. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know that this car really has spent much time doing canyon carving or autocross before you owned it, so I think having a, a nice sporty shifter in there and not uh, the really oddly shaped one will be a big benefit. Yes, I already love the Craven Speed one. Yeah. Well, so uh, here, I guess I'll grab this for just a second. <laughs> Besides the foxes, do you know, like, are there any other big plans for the car? Are you planning to do anything specific to it to go racing? What's what's the big dream with this car? I just want to go really fast, you know, shake and bake Ricky Bobby. Um, so as soon as the turbo parts are in stock, I am putting a turbo on it. No matter what, that's the ultimate goal is to go as fast as I possibly can. Uh, I will probably end up at the autocross track. My coworkers have already been trying to talk me into it, so I will probably end up there. Um, and I've already driven it over the monument, but I can't wait to see how it feels going over the monument with the new suspension. Yeah, you've got, actually this car, you didn't, I don't know if you mentioned it, it's got the stock sport, yeah, sport suspension with the Bilsteins on it, but um, they are a little bit tired at this point. They're getting towards the end of their lifespan, so it's decent, but yeah, I think that you're going to see a pretty substantial improvement going to new fresh suspension, and of course the foxes and our sway bars are going to help a lot. Yes. So, well, let's see. <laughs> We've kind of covered most of the list. Let's stop here and see, do we have any questions for Michaela about the car? Nothing that we haven't already covered. Okay. All right. Well, that's okay. So um, the last bit of this that I have questions in advance about is that, obviously, this is your new baby, but do you have a dream Miata? And is it this car or is it something else? The ultimate dream is a V8 swapped ND. Uh, when Indy lived here still, before we sold her, it was my favorite. I loved that car, but obviously we don't do ND sw or V8 swaps anymore. So that's a you know long-term goal. Maybe someday I'll buy an ND and work real, real hard to get it V8 swapped. But for now, this is my dream car. We're going to put a turbo on it, and I'm going to go real, real fast. <laughs> I suppose an ND is an acceptable answer. And of course, eight cylinders is always a pretty fun yeah. prospect. So, okay, that's, that's fair. <laughs> All right, well, unless we have any last minute comments, I think that's it for everything I have pre-planned. So, is there anything else you would like to add that we haven't already said? It, if you would like to follow along on the journey of making the SS Schrute from a stock riverboat to a seaworthy speedboat. You can follow us on Instagram at ss.shroot. Um, and yeah, welcome to the yacht club, the SS Shroot. <laughs> <laughs> welcome aboard. Well, thank you very much. We appreciate you having the car on the show, of course. Uh, I think that a lot of people are going to be excited about another SS Shroot in the fleet. <laughs> um, I know I am, so thank you very much. We appreciate you. And, of course, if you have any other ideas or if you'd like us to show off any other cars or any other employee cars or just have questions about stuff in general, drop us some comments down below. We always like to see what suggestions you have for us because that helps us to create more cool content like this. So if you like it, of course, give us a like. Hit that subscribe button if you'd like to see more content like this. But otherwise, we thank you very much for watching, and we will see you next time.